The other word that, uh, that I, struck me is friar. Mm -hmm. oh, this is, I learned this from a Franciscan that I met on my way through seminary. But he said one of the gifts of friars is they come to everyone else as a brother. Yes. Okay. Yes. It's different than coming as a father. If you don't know how to come as a brother, you don't know how to come to somebody as a, you no. know, as a father. It's a yeah. gift. Oh yeah, that's because I introduced myself as friar and uh, and I'm going around I'm to different churches or preacher preaching whatever. It's always the first question. What's the difference between father and friar? Uh huh. And uh, my always oh, you know and I usually just say that the, well, that's the wrong question. That's the difference. What's between friar and a monk? Uh huh. But you're right. The word just means brother. Yeah. And um and I think it changes the tone of the community when everybody's a friar. Yes. It, and it. I think it's helpful. And even as you, uh, as we minister, I mean, I'm I'm a brother of everyone who comes yes. for confession and all those things that we mm -hmm. do as priests. So, uh, <clears throat> it's a it's a blessing to be like that. I think. I think so. Uh, you know, what's fascinating to me is that change from being monks to being mendicants and right. being out in the thing. And it seems to me at first the 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 real reason for being mendicants um, was at least we didn't have farmland. Yes. Okay. Right. Yes. If you were a monastery, right. you Correct. had tracts of land, and, and you, you you sustained yourself from that. Yeah. So we lived out of the generosity yeah. of other people at first uh, to sustain our uh, our orders. Yeah, I didn't realize. I just because I was, I knew we were going to do this. So I just learned today that uh, Council of Trent changed that. Mm -hmm. that. All of a sudden, we could own property in common for the first time. So that sort of changed the nature. Of the of the mendicant, the begging community. That's always a challenge. I'm living as Americans, for instance, uh, you know, uh, we fill our closets fast. This is the American way in our garages and so forth. But how to live with our hands open with those things so that they they don't control us, but we come yeah. to God free of those attachments. Yeah, I'm getting ready to move, and I'm <laughs> always going to my room. Why do I have this? Why do I have you know throwing things away? Lots of stuff going to Goodwill and to, to St. Vincent de Paul because I'm, I don't know why I'm carrying this around. I know this story. I used to teach, and so I carried about a third of my library down here, and I'm still looking at it, going, "When will I get to these things?" But that's a, it, maybe that's a, a sign of the f you know the first sin was a grasping at the apple, and we have this you know the, the, uh, it's part of our uh, we used to call concupiscence too much sure. love for right. too low a things, and it's easy to get like that.